Hi, I'm Vicky from Crafty Claire's Paper Moments and today I'm going to show you how to make this little masked goose card with a special inky background using an acrylic block with a twist. Here's what you'll need to make the card. You'll need the wetlands and the geometrical stamp sets, ink pads in Pear Pizzazz, Soft Sky, Gamble Green and Baked Brown Sugar. You'll also need a Whisper White Craft ink pad, markers in basic black, early espresso, garden green, an aqua painter, some whisper white cardstock, an acrylic block, I've used D, and if you want everything to be straight, a stamp of a jig. Okay, so first we'll make the background by taking the acrylic block, inking up the bottom third in pear pizzazz, and then the top two thirds in the soft sky ink. You've probably seen this kind of background before. You would then spray the acrylic block with water and then stamp. Now I'm going to do that, but I've added a twist. I've got the circle image from Geometrical here, which I'm going to ink up with Gumball Green and stamp onto my acrylic block. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I want to make a sort of bushes effect. Now I've filled an empty stamping mist bottle with water. Here I'm just going to hold it about six inches away from the block and just give it a quick blast with the water. Let my whisper white panel and position this Now I'm going to leave the background to dry. I'm going to ink up the goose from Wetlands using an early espresso marker, his body. You really don't have to be neat about this. You can just scribble the color on. That's his legs there. And then using the garden green marker, I'm going to color in the grass here. Just scribble the colour on. Now I want to position this goose quite accurately onto my background so I'm going to get a stamp from a jig and stamp my goose onto it. I've inked up the goose again and now I want to position it so that the grass remains inside the background. Now can you see a little bit of it has gone off to the side? So I'm just going to tuck in a post-it note just to make sure that just my goose comes out over the side and not the grass. And there we are. I'll just huff on that stamp. And then if I take away the sticky note, you can see that I've got the grass contained in the frame, but the goose is coming out. It's time to colour in the goose. I'm going to take my baked brown sugar ink pad and squash it so that I've got a little bit of ink in the lid. I'm also going to use my Whisper White Craft ink. Now don't forget this isn't water-based, this one. I'm going to use my aqua painter to just scribble in his body here. Now we probably need a little bit of, of black along his neck and along his little head here, and his beak, along his tail. Do this very roughly so you can vaguely see what I'm doing. And then let's just blend that in a little bit. For his chest, 
I'm going to use the Whisper White Craft Ink. Now I use an old aqua painter for mine um, because don't forget it's not water-based ink. So I mean you can use your your aqua painter, but do make sure that you clean it properly, otherwise it'll just go stiff and you won't be able to use it again for, for anything else. I'm just going to take a bit of ink there and colour the chest and just a little bit around the body. I just need now to add the sentiment. There's a thank you for your kindness stamp in the wetlands stamp set, which is lovely, but I don't want it to say that. I want it to say a more generic thank you. So I'm going to take my black marker and colour in just the bit that I want. It's very easy to do this and it's just another reason why markers are just so brilliant to use. I'm going to take my stamp and my jig so that we can position this exactly where we want it to go. Stamp it on the positioning sheet and then you can put it wherever you want on your panel. I'm just going to ink that up again and position it and stamp. Now I can glue my panel to a card base. And there you have it, my inky acrylic block background with a twist. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you'd like more inspiration, why not come and join me on my blog, where I post a new project almost every day. If you're looking to buy Stamping Up products, come to my online shop, which is open anytime, day or night. Thanks for joining me today.